All right, so I'm back from drilling. I've also taken care of putting a few little parts together. All I can say is who doesn't like drilling holes in their brand new kit uh, for a 3D printer? But uh, you can see here, and I've also stripped the plastic off. Um, these are the two holes that existed. I put two, and I did go on the diagonal um, to mount my power supply. I do have the video that they provide on the Google Drive as a reference. I did download everything that was available, just so that I have it handy in case I didn't have internet or something. And the way they describe it is, with the main frame, the biggest piece, sitting flat in front of you, with this kind of notch out portion, which is the bottom, pointing at you, your left hand is the one that will hold the ramps, i.e. hold the electronics, the controller, if you will means this side is your power supply you know support um, so that's one thing that I wanted to point out and express it in words as opposed to little text scrolling across the bottom of a screen secondly at least at, at where I'm at, at the moment these are the um, diagonal braces slash motor mounts they'll end up going down here eventually Tight fit. Um, yeah, very tight fit. Um, they did say there is two holes. There's the big hole, little hole, and then the little four mounting holes for your stepper motors. Do yourself a favor, and I think they uh, use the description, save yourself the headache. Uh, make sure your holes, it's hard to see and clear, are opposite one another. So I wouldn't want both on one side. That'd be bad. Um, another thing to note, at least uh, I've noticed here, is that some of these things are darn tight. Uh, putting these little nuts in the little T grooves that they've created, I actually see a little itty bitty splinter of a crack starting. I'm not too concerned. Um, I see one going twice. So, uh, needless to say, don't he man these things. They do give you. Um, block washers, or split washers, whatever you want to call them. So, you know, air on the favor of loose as opposed to tight. And I did also find that in those T grooves that they cut for the nuts, um, some of them were a bit tight anyway. They do say don't force things, don't over tighten the acrylic. It will break if you force it. So I'm going to try to go easy. I certainly was easy when I was drilling my holes. Um, I'm just going to try to uh, take it easy, go smooth, get this frame built before I have to go off to work. So I'll get back to you once I finish this up. But it's pretty straightforward. Lock washer, screw, nut. Um, for the life of me, I couldn't tell you what size Allen wrench I'm using, but you need one. It doesn't come in the kit. Um, and for the nuts, at least in this pack, um, what I have here is a 7 30 seconds on a nut driver. I'm not sure what that would work out to be in metric. And another kudos to Folger Technologies. Um, they package all of their hardware in individual packages and it tells you what the package of hardware is for. So this one says frame hardware set. So that's real nice. So it makes it easy making sure I didn't pull out the wrong set of hardware at once and I don't have to empty out everything into one bag. So. Alright, I'm going to finish this thing up and then head off to work.